All right, so here we go. There we go. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna enter uh, two lists. We're gonna work with some lists and get a, uh, I'm already, <laughs> confidence <laughs> interval for the slope of our line that we're gonna create. So here are the two lists, 38. All right, that didn't work. What else do I have to hit? Why is it? Okay. You, don't, you don't have a pen. You're using this is a pen. No, you need these like. Oh, pen. where's the pen part? I don't know. Oh, oh, you know, I got to put these up here. Yeah, pen. There we go. You're using a mouse. Bingo. You need a pen. All right, you know what? What if I can erase this? Um, we're going to start. Okay. 38. 56. Fifty-nine, sixty-four, and seventy-four. So list one, list two, forty-one, sixty-three, seventy, seventy-two, and eighty-four. <coughs> so enter those into your calculator. Um, Let's go ahead and do a linear regression. So go to linreg, do list one, list two. Let's go ahead and put it in y1. All right, so what do we get for our equation? Can somebody help me out? All right, anybody not get that? All right, so we have two samples here. We have our list one here. We have list two, and we've got linear regression. But these numbers are just a sample from a uh, particular larger data set. We're now going to learn to predict or, or get a prediction level for the slope. All right, So we want to be able to predict uh, with some certainty what the slope could fall between. All right, we're going to need a few things. First, we need to find the standard error, which we called S the other day. And S, if you recall, all right, I'm going to try to move something. No. S was the square root. We covered this the other day, but this is a quick review. The sum of the residuals squared over, and how many degrees of freedom do we use for this? Minus three. So we want to do this. We want to use the calculator. We remember that whenever you do a linear regression, the calculator creates the residual list. So the list in the, uh, what you want to do then is make list three, let's make it the resid. So go to list three, put resid in the uh, top of the, column, hit enter, and once you've done that, let's do one var stats for list three so that we can find the sum of x squared. What we're really concerned with here is the sum of x squared. And can somebody help me out with that? 11.79. Okay. And actually, what we're going to do, Grant, and you you do this like, let's take it three or four decimals. Okay. You, you round things off, um, which is fine. But so let's. 11.78. Yeah. 7, 8. Actually, fine. I'm going to take it one more decimal just because we're early on in the problem. All right, so how am I going to find S? <coughs> Okay. 
So 11.7853 divided by, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minus 2. And we should end up with 1.98. Okay, good, it worked. Did you guys have all that? Do I need to go back? Okay. Um, I think it's kind of a problem with this stuff. Now all of a sudden, that stuff's gone. Oh, well, it's not gone, but I can't you can see probably, it. But you can probably look at it. Yeah, I can go back and look. Um, all right, so we found S, which is great. But how are we going to find the, um, the confidence interval? We're going to take, so the confidence interval... Oops, oops, where's the eraser thing? Cool. For B, uh, that's a big B. You take B, which was the comp or the uh, slope you found when you did the initial, you know, get from the sample, plus or minus. T star, and what we're looking for here is the standard error of B, so SE of B. What we haven't found yet is S, the standard error of B. We found the standard error around the line, around the regression line, but we need to now find the standard error of B. And do we touch upon this the other day? Yeah. yeah. So the standard error of B is going to equal S, which what we just found, over the square root of the sum of X minus X bar squared. Now, in your calculator, some of this stuff, like S, the smallest standard error about the line, your calculator is going to help you find that, and I'll show you that. It doesn't find the standard error of the slope. So you're going to need to remember, pardon me, how to find the denominator portion of, of this uh, number. So how are we going to do that here? Well, we have all our x's in there, correct? Do we know x bar? Did we do a um, one bar stats of list one yet? I don't know if we did or not, but let's go ahead and do... One var stats of list one so that we can find x bar. And what'd you get it to be? 58.2. So 58.2. All right, so now we want to go to list four. So let's go to list four. And in list four, you're going to go x minus x bar. So, go down here. Um, x is in list one, correct? Minus 58.2. Oops, that was too big. So 58.2, and you should get data in list four. Then you need to do one of our stats. Everybody, can I change the page? So now one of our stats of list four. And what do we get for the sum of x squared? I'm sorry? Questions on that? All right, so we have everything we need to find the standard error of the slope. We had S before. And S was 11 point... What was it? 
Oh. I'm sorry? Oh. All right. 1.98. That's right. All right, and then what did we find for the square root? Six point two nine seven. No, three nine seven. Three nine seven. Uh, Where did you do? Ah. <laughs> All right, so what do we get when we divide that? Zero seven five. Zero. Zero. Okay. So if we want to find a 95% confidence interval for the slope of this particular line, remember B plus or minus T star times, what was here? The standard error of the slope. So what was B? Uh, wasn't it our initial slope was 1.1969? Okay, oh, yep, I'll take that. T star, how many degrees of freedom do we have here? Okay, three degrees of freedom. We're going to find a 95% confidence interval. So what's our T star? Okay. And standard error comes down here. Oh, cool. Point oh seven five. So can somebody do that math for me? Point nine five eight. One point four three five five. So five six. So six. All right. So that's our ninety five percent confidence interval for the slope of the regression line. Now what you can do, see how it works on the calculator. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the calculator stat. Tests. And then you got to go down to G, which is the second to last which is lin reg t interval. Go ahead, enter. See where the lists are that you put, I think list one, list two. Frequency is one, C level, and one minute. Okay, 0.95 is our confidence interval. The regression equation, when it asks you for uh, the regression equation, you can tell it where you want it to put the regression equation if you want. You don't have to put anything there if you don't want to. Then go to calculate. Hopefully we get something close to what we got before. And we do. Now you will notice though, if you look at the data here, that it gives you the slope, degrees of freedom, S, which we found before, A, and if you go down, toggle down, it gives you R squared and R. Okay? And 